Hi folks, in the UK I don't know how many of you watched uh, Fake or Fortune, I think it was on Sunday or no, Monday night with uh, Fiona Bruce and uh, Philip Mould. <clears throat> they, uh, if you don't know about them really, they, they uh, Philip Mould is an art dealer and Fiona is a BBC presenter. <coughs> she presents uh, the Antiques Roadshow, which is very popular. We always watch it. We're antiques ourselves now. Uh, they, 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 they took on a challenge to prove or get proved that a, a, a constable painting, small 22 inches by 16, of uh, Willie Lott's Cottage. Now, Willie Lott's Cottage is the cottage in uh, the Hayway, which is a highly stylized. Idealist, idealised, should I say, painting. It's our national treasure. Uh, it's absolutely glorious. But some of his paintings were much rougher. Uh, I've seen some of them in, in the, the Tate Gallery and the uh, uh, National Gallery, Victoria and Albert Galleries or Museum. And the, his work, I believe, was so was very finished. But that's what the Royal Academy demanded at the time. So foregrounds, highly detailed foregrounds, etc. But Constable really was fighting against the trend and produced a lot of sketches and uh, <coughs> practices for future paintings. Um, and this particular painting was bought by somebody, I think, for about £30,000 some years ago. And they had to prove that this provenance which there was very little, but they did. They eventually traced it right back, almost to its beginning, and it's where it was sold, how much it sold for, right through to Cole Nagy's gallery, which is a modern gallery, it used to sell Seagull's work. And the two constable experts, I mean real experts, uh, did attribute the painting to Constable, in which case it's worth two million quid pounds. That's a bit off you there. Um, I have to put a bit more tape there. Uh, wonderful programme, fabulous painting, I just love it. So I'm going to just do something from memory in tribute to Constable. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a great artist or anything. I'm good. At, I'm better than those that don't do it. And uh, you never get better unless you you practice and practice and practice. So uh, palette: uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, a bit of page weight, cadmium yellow, and yellow ochre. Uh, and uh, Willie Lots Cottage. Well, I, I'm just going to do something like he started off up, sort of here, with a side of a side of a building something like that bit of flashing light down there for the windows Uh, some a mass of trees over here. I've probably gone a bit too far over that side. And then some typical constable trees here with uh, some sh some reflections. I'm not going to put the cart horse in with the uh, pony and trap. It's just going to be a rough go at it. I don't know what colours constable used. I've never really delved into it, but. Uh, I believe he did paint, coat a lot of his paintings with, with uh, burnt, uh, his, what well, went for burnt umber in those days, 200 years ago. This is a, just a light coating of burnt sienna on top of two coats of PVA blue. Uh, good stuff to work on. It's a 10, 10 inches by 8 inches, quarter of the size he worked on, for that particular painting. But I'm not, 
I've got, I haven't got a picture of, of, of the, or photograph of the picture, I'm just going to work this from memory. And w what he did, and a lot of artists do it, oh, I'm not one really for doing it, but I like, it always seems to work, is paint the landscape first, and then paint the clouds, the sky, down to the trees, in which case you'll get much more impact. Although we do tend to superimpose the landscape on the sky, which is pretty logical. So let's uh, use some burnt, bit of burnt sienna, which won't show. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I bought this very expensive tube of Griffin Alkid, Winsor & Newton. It's an uh, artist quality. It contains Alkid red resin. So what I do is to mix it with a bit of the cheaper stuff, the winter. And just give it a bit of a blend. So and, and the white, that white now will will help dry all the colours on the palette. And it's a great thing to use but use sparingly. There are or is a range of uh, Griffin colours, I think in 37 mil tubes, I can't remember it's a long time since I've bought any. But I used to buy buy the Griffin colours, uh, or particularly the white, when I was doing as a year painting Venice Impressionists. But my love is landscape, not even buildings. But, uh, but we'll uh, we'll have a go. Uh, so a bit of oil. So I'll add a bit of cad red with that. Uh, we'll just otherwise it, it won't show against the, the Sienna background, but it doesn't matter. I think the reason Constable painted in uh, with the burnt umber, it was a, it was a pinky colour, pinky brown, uh, uh, that he left a lot of the ground showing through and, and that's why the greens of the leaves counter changed with, with the complementary colour of the underpainting which he allowed to show through but uh, I won't probably go for that but it's a little bit of a bit of a this and that a bit of ochre in there just to get the counter change now a nice light colour on here Just a nice bit of, bit of light catch, catching on the roof of this one. Okay, and we can go a bit darker. Let's go to cloth. Uh, then he had this lovely light colour down the gable. I have a wonderful painter. So is Tone, of course. There'll always be the argument which move is the best between Turner and Constable. They're both great in their own right. So a nice red chimney stack. I'll paint round this. When we get there. Just get that light, a nice light, kind of here. And Willie Cottage's cottage was white, I believe. So we'll make it obvious, mainly for my benefit.
I'll put some trees in there just to fill that gap there. So just dirt it up a little bit. Very rough. Okay, let's get in some trees there now. And reflections. Oh, uh, my my trees are good paints. Well, they didn't want that, did I? Um, mixture of of the cadmium red ultramarine and cadmium yellow pale. But I'm going to do some blue grey by adding a bit of white to it. See what happens. Right, let's get get some nice a light colour, light green. Piece of oil. And we can get some darker greens in there. There's a counter change there. We'll have a little bit of light coming from behind there. Let's see what happens. Definitely I'll put some uh, I'll try and show some light coming from underneath the trees. Uh, let's get a bigger one here. Seems to work, doesn't it? Painting itself, the, uh, the, the, the that I was talking about, it had been uh, overpainted. I can't remember why, but one's blue green. You could use a bit of viridian if you wish. Anything just to give it a bit of a change. Okay, we'll get round the side here now. Give a dark tree. Just those three colours. And we can toss it up afterwards. Oops. I could do the counter change later. I'll put a bit of foliage in, in front of the uh, cottage. Okay, let's uh, get some. Uh, Here to paint the uh, to paint um, the reflection at the same time. I'll leave some of this screening through. So. Look at that colour there, right? There we can blend it a bit.
Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do that, but I, a bit late, I think. Let's get the green in. But just a bit of light coming through here. And then we'll have sort of something like that. Let's just put a bit of the sky in now. Clean the brush in the towel. I was a master for the skies. I think he used uh, cobalt, but I've always used uh, ultramarine as my number one go to blue. We'll have a little bit of a subtle cloud. the cloud the uh, Bersier is lovely in the sky for nice clouds we can paint back into that Put a little bit of a lining in there, probably with a knife. Burst yellow rather than yellow ochre because seems to work very well for these skies. Right, now we'll go back over that. Uh, well, let's get the... Uh, Bit of blue in there. Now I'm not trying to paint a constable, I'm just trying to do a Dave Usher painting to, to give you some idea. I want darker there. of how I would go along to do, well you know what I do. Some good, some not so good. Get some light blue down here. Just try to paint negative shape of the trees, let's get some dark in here let's 
beautiful day in London. Well, my bit of London. Oh, we've got a bank in there. Oh, I've never gone down too low. Darker colour along here. I've got to put some windows in. Right, I might use a knife there. So let's get a bit of a mauvey shadow. Try to keep it rough. Well, let's get a, get a bit of a window in. Oh, my little round, my little flat brush, I think. Right, let's get some uh, greens back in here now, some light greens. Oh, let's get that bluey green. Right, let's just get those that bit of bluey lights back in here.
Right, let's write up around that sky now. Around these A lovely dark, lovely range of, of uh, greens with those three colours. Soft a little bit. Right, let's get some nice light down the side of the house. Trying to leave some of that to uh, show through the ground. Do some work on that to reflection. Not sure I like that poking around there. <coughs> Scrape it off. Um, put that sky back. Oh, we can get some dark green. Around these in there. It's a bit messy, but we're not that bothered about it, really. So, could uh, try and get some realistic in. Okay, now we've got to get those colours of the trees get some darks in there
Okay, now we just go over that now. Sienna. So I get the, an approximation of those colours. Sienna is so gorgeous. Now we show some, let's spread that out there a little bit, then we show it for reflecting under the trees. Now we've got some of that, some Sienna roof. have to be accurate, well it does have to be accurate, it doesn't have to be finely, beautifully painted. I do want to get uh, that eave there. Let's put a, put a bit of that red on there. There's much more I want to do with that. <coughs> Try to uh, just uh, make these a bit symmetrical there. Okay, now we can refine that. I can put a bit of a Okay, we'll put it in a frame. Well that's a, just my simple take on a comfortable a comfortable impression. I'll put it in the in the frame. Sorry, 
I know where we found it. I don't know why the two know it is. I'll have to find that back. Right, well, there we are. Let's move this off. Now, it could be rougher than that. So what I've done is to paint the, the sky down to the landscape. <coughs> I kept the house as rough as I could. So I hope you like the demo. Thanks for looking in guys and I'll uh, see you soon. Let's just get that. Oops. There we are. Bye bye.